everyday chip shot when you are around the green, around the fringe, your lie isn't crazy, you've got some green to work with, um, there's no obstacles to go over, it's just your standard chip shot, okay? So for this shot, you can use literally any club you want. I have my 60 degree wedge, I love my 60 degree wedge, um, but you can literally use any club you want. So you can use sand wedge, gap wedge, pitching wedge, nine, eight, seven, five, four, whatever you want. And it's literally the same setup and the same swing, no matter what club you have. So let's go over the setup. The setup is the most important part of this chip shot because the rest of it pretty much just takes care of itself as long as your setup is correct. So we, for this shot, we want the ball a little bit farther back in our stance. So we're going to put the ball off of the inside of our right heel for our right foot. Okay, and we want our feet about a foot apart. I don't like it when your when my feet are too far apart because I feel like it restricts movement. Um, so I like to keep my feet a little bit closer together, so about a foot apart. Okay, so we're gonna put my feet of our feet a foot apart, and the ball is going to be off of my right heel. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is now we want to club the close the club face and we want our hands in front of the ball. So to do this, we're just gonna grip normal and then we're just gonna move our wrists so they're basically over our left foot. And the most important part about this is we need to maintain that angle the entire time through the whole swing. We don't want this. We don't want to break down, especially when we're trying to hit a bump and run. It's really crucial that you keep that wrist angle. Okay, so we've got the ball off the right heel, feet about a foot apart, wrists, hands forward, club face closed. Maintain that angle, and then we're just going to rock our shoulders, and that's it. Really easy. Do it one more time for you ball off the inside of our right heel, feet are about a foot apart, hands forward. Hey guys, welcome to Flop Shot Challenge Friday. That's right, Flop Shot Challenge Friday. I want you guys to send me your best flop shot. I'm going to pick a winner by tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, and the winner will receive a personalized signed picture of me and a visor, okay? So again, you have till tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern. I'm picking a winner. I want you guys to send me your very best flop shots, okay? Because flop shot is personally my favorite shot in the game. Um, I mean, how, does, how do you not love a good flop shot, right? I mean, it's just sexy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my flop shot. Okay, so for a flop shot, it needs to be in the front of your stance, okay? And the weight needs to be pretty much all the way forward. Okay, you're gonna open your club face and speed is the key when you're hitting a flop shot, okay? You can't have any slow club head speed going on down there because there's gonna be no spin, okay? Club face open, weight forward. Now we're gonna hit fast and kind of down on it. Pop it up. Okay, so we've got our standard bunker shot here, standard lie, so we're gonna go over the setup. So for our setup, my stance is going to be a little wider than it normally would for a regular chip shot. And my toes are going to be pointed outwards. So I like this because I feel like it gives me a little bit more uh, movement and my movement isn't restricted. It also helps me with my weight distribution. So for my weight distribution, it's gonna be forward. So my stance is wider, my toes are pointed out, my weight is forward, and the ball is going to be forward. So the ball position is going to be off of my left toe. So now we've got our setup. The next thing is the club face. I see so many amateurs when they're trying to hit bunker shots and their club face isn't anywhere near as far open as it needs to be. You really wanna make sure that that club face is nice and open. It needs to basically be laying flat on the sand. So we really want the fat part of your wedge or your bounce to be resting on the sand. And then you need to maintain that club face angle for the entire shot. Okay, so we've got our setup. Wide stance, 
point, toes pointed out, weight forward, ball forward, face open. Now the last important step is what we need to focus on and it's not the ball. You don't want to, we're not trying to hit the ball, we're trying to hit just behind the ball. So we want to focus about an inch behind the ball. So to give you a visual, I'm going to make a little indentation here about an inch behind the ball and I'm just going to rest my club, my club here. This is a great way to practice your bonkers as well, is to make that indentation with your club, keep your club here to start, and then focus on hitting that spot an inch behind the ball. So that's where we need to focus on. We don't want to hit the ball because then we're going to catch it thin and that's when you're going to hit your skulls or, or you're going to blade it out of the bunker. We also don't want to hit too far behind it because that's when we're going to catch it fat. So about an inch behind the ball is going to be the ideal spot of where we want our club to hit the sand so we can just get that ball all nice and nice and high and soft out of our bunker. So let's give it a go.